tries to use that muscle to get through green shots. Advantage, penalty advantage. Penalty Gareth. advantage now to Wales. Gareth Davis sniping. Navidi flicks it away to George Ward. Here's the chance. Here's the try for Wales. At last they have bust through this Ireland offence. And it's one of the big goals. George North. And then it's just yeah, heads okay. up rugby. Great okay, offer out there clear. by Josh Navidi. That's the offer that creates the space. James Law okay. has to make a decision. Does he jam in? Just it Does in he not? Okay. Ian Henderson, okay, just, came off the CJ Stanner both really tight to that oh, road. They didn't. Su it took him by surprise, I think, that off road. And that's a great show and go and pace to finish off. High tackle, penalty advantage again penalty for Wales. Advantage. Here's George North, Lee Halfpenny, Lewis Reese Samet. Great finish by Lewis Reese Samet. Wales find the win. They find the gap in that Irish defence. He feels taken out somewhere in the air. Now, this is where Ireland were really good at the end of that. Takes a little advantage. look inside the shoulder there of Finn Russell. Bigger. Nick Tompkins does well to get it away. Liam Williams and Reese Samet a step inside. An absolutely vital score for the men in ring. Yeah. There's the ball to Bigger. Holds it a little bit. It was that Tompkins pass. He drew in Van der Merwe, got the pass away, and Lewis Reese Samet. Darcy Graham, nothing he could do. Watch the work here from Tompkins, though. Drifts off. Takes the tackle of Harris, spins out, gets the ball away from Duhan van der Merwe. And from there, it was hands to Reese Zamet, who stepped off his right and Thank finished off. And Wales have made Thank the you. most of an opportunity to finish this half strong. And that's a crucial score in the context of this match. Well, he's quite a try machine, is Lewis Reese Zamet. Got the crucial score last week. Swimming a little bit up the side, but this is well orchestrated by Wales. Ken Owens has still got it. Yeah. Hardy feeds the ball out. Terrific hands, Lewis Free Samet. There's time and space, and Liam Williams and Wales have got another. They're right back into the match. Questions that it's posing at the moment. Matt Carley's arm out there for penalty advantage. Early touch, Hallow hold a lovely sleight of hand by Sheedy to get through the hands to Reese Samet. Gets the ball away to Liam Williams. He doesn't need a second invitation to finish that one off with open prairie in front of him. Wales strike, the all-important first score of this second half. They're right back in the mix now. Well, what a difference a few weeks makes. The Autumn Nations Cup. The headlines from there were about maybe the concerns we had about the quality of Test Rugby. What a start it's been to this season's Six Nations Championship. Lewis Reed Samet, he's got first run on hog. Oh, that's brilliant. That is spectacular from Lewis Reed Samet. And my goodness, look at this for a razor-sharp finish. The opportunity comes in the outside channel. He gets a yard away from Duhan van der Merwe, who's had to bite in, chips Stuart Hogg, and from there he has all, all the momentum. Perfectly weighted chip, bounces up, and it looks like such a simple finish off the back of it. But just look at this, he's at full speed, puts it onto his right foot, and it's perfectly weighted. He could not place that any better. Regathers and goes over. Perfectly weighted chip bounces up, and it looks like such a simple finish off the back of it. But just look at this. He's at full speed, puts it onto his right foot, and it's perfectly weighted. He could not place that any better. Regathers and goes over. You want to play that penalty well, advantage. Well, it's quickly taken, and Adams is underneath, and that's wonderfully worked. It's on the back one. Wales have caught England napping. The execution was perfect. George North, Adams again, slices it through there for Lewis Reed. Sam it almost gathered it. It's still there for Liam Williams, and Williams has gone over. Well, let's see what the decision here is. And Pascal goes there. I suspect we're going to be calling in the television match official. And there's a handout, and that from was coming in from the side. And off goes Hardy, and Hardy's through! Not for the first time today, England have been caught napping. Incredible reactions from that man there, Gareth Hardy. Here's Gareth Davis. Hala Hollow. Wales. 
ending the game with a score. They have the fourth try, they have the triple crown, they have the fifth point. Look at the way those backs are lined. Set. Gonna keep the Italian defence guessing, and it's a defence that is down a player. Both together. There for Davis, and then to Jonathan Davis, who skipped, and out it comes. And there's an opportunity out wide, and Wales have their first try of the afternoon. Has to really over chase from being in a tight position. Stopped in his tracks, Gareth Davis, it's slower ball, Navidi is skipped and it goes from Liam Williams to Jonathan Davis and they have numbers. Can they finish it? Faletau! It's another try for Wales. And they make the numerical advantage count and don't they do it oh so well. Just yes. a tipper. And then to that more, and they this time vary it by going on the more open side. Go, and then Owens has it in his hands, and they're away. And Owens drives for the line. And Ken Owens has Wales' third try. The first quarter of the game is barely complete, and it's try number three for Wales. Next time Just it digs stops, in for a second go to try and get Wales moving 20. forward, and they are moving forward. If slower than the last couple, away, two, Owens away. breaks away and then drives the legs. And has he got there? I think he has. Well, he was just never beaten Ken Owens. That mall was not as good as we've seen from Wales in the opening half hour, and it looked like Italy have dealt with it. Game of inches, isn't it? Rugby is a game of inches. That's yeah, extra nice couple nice of leg drives. Just enough. Broke away from the mall. Got back up off his knees. And to allow close. Ken Owens to reach forward, even with Stephen Varney clinging on for dear life. I think we it's just that breakdown. Yeah, it was Owens. Set! And they've had these opportunities, man. Their execution, by and large, has been right out of the top drawer. Let's see what happens here. Slower advantage. ball for Gareth Davis than he was expecting, but it's advantage again to Wales, so it's a free play. And George Back North has the ball in hand, and he has the pace. Oh, does he have the pace? <laughs> North gets the try at the start of the second half. This is midfield partner that's the beneficiary. The ability to get inside two defenders and get that ball away, it's a real understanding from... Out to Halo Halo, and it's really hard to drag him down. Tapuric had a little go. Lloyd Williams, Navidi, great hands. In they go again. Sheedy scores. And Wales have another try, and this one is going to count. Still there for Italy. Canna. And it's handed off, and if you hand it off like that, you're going to get punished. And away goes the young man. It's Rhys Zamet, and he goes from first to fifth gear and blows the defence away. Was there any doubt he was going to get there? Absolutely none. And having one chalked off, he's found a way to get his try. It'll be Wynne Jones who picks and goes, and France being tested around the fringes of the breakdown. Tipperick will dig it out. Wrestling out, round the corner he goes, bounces off the first tackle, just doesn't have the ability to get there. Still there though for Wales. On they go, oh. this time they're over. Have they grounded it? They have, the try is given. Wales are in, it's bigger who crashes over. Wales are just so difficult. Once they get into this area, they've got one of the highest conversion rates in the Six Nations. They just manage to get over the try line again and again. Bigger there coming from out to in, taking that French defensive line by surprise. Through two men, perfectly timed and dots down. What a game we have, Sif at all. Well. Drives the legs. Talupe Thalatau thought about reaching out, just couldn't get there. Navidi round the corner. France hanging on. Have they hung on? No, they haven't. It's another try. It's 20 minutes that have almost flown by in this game. It's a fourth try. It's Josh Navidi. Win Jones again. Lovely pass back inside to Liam Williams as France committed in defence. Wales found a way to get around them. Beard is isolated for a moment. Tipperick oh. with a little dink in behind. Terrific from the open side. And Josh Adams is playing on. And we're playing a little bit of football oh. here. But Wales have it. And Adams oh. has it. And they have the try. They have the try. Oui, oui, je sais, je sais. Wow. I know, mate. Hang on.